my gorgeous sparkly Gemini. Welcome to your love tarot greeting. This is going to be for you and your person, my darling. Whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Let's take a look at your uh, person and yourself. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please show me, angels, what's happening for Gemini. Also, Gemini, uh, I am discombobulated today as ever because <laughs> it's super hot and I ran out of coffee. So you can see, and no air con no, still no air conditioning. My brain is boiling. So, I mean, there's not going to be air conditioning in this place ever but it's like a whole long story anyway whatever if you're new to the channel welcome to blue angel love tarot full of drama and surprises no day is the same though no day this is the same but every day boo boo every day i love you my blue angels so if you're a returning blue angel thank you i love you appreciate you i see you baby give me a kiss mm. i love my gemini energy i'm a scorpio sun rising boo boo so uh not a lot of people realize I am secretly a Gemini because I got someone Gemini in my chart. You know what I'm saying? So uh, don't tell the others though, you know? Also, Gemini is my lucky sign. So I love you. I love you so, so much. And I apologize for always being so discombobulated recently. I'm just like, I'm just going through. Um, uh, my life is going really, like my life is kind of boring and fine. It's just everything else is kind of like, uh, it's like the material things are falling apart, you know, like little foibles. I think it's some kind of a sign from the universe. Not sure what it's meant to be telling me. Tell me I'm falling apart or something. Uh, <laughs> three, but I'm fine. Like I'm not. It's just everything around me. Three, maybe, oh my God. Does that mean that I'm the baddie? Like you're, it's like basically the universe saying you're the problem because like you're fine. Everyone else isn't like, even like material things are falling apart. Okay, never mind. Enough about me. Three of Pentacles. I think your person thinks you're the problem, Boo Boo. Oh my God. But it's like, um, like this person thinks that they did all they could and they couldn't win with you. Nine of Wands. Uh, they put in all this effort. They put in all this fight. They couldn't win that fight with the Gemini. Well, of course you couldn't because you're probably not as smart as the Gemini, Boo Boo. That's just true. No offense, cross watcher, but I mean, if you're going to cross watch the video, then I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. These energies can't switch, but Gemini is too smart for these games. This person was trying to play games with you. Oh my God. Did you see that? Did I? Oh my God. Oh my God. See, see my, my entire camera just like, see what, I, this is my life right now. Like every, everything I touch, it's like a comedy. Like I turn off the light and the electricity goes out or something. Maybe it's because I do, maybe it's because we do these readings every day that like the energy is stronger. Like I'm discharging electricity now. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Three of Pentacles. This person thought you were the problem. They try to uh, put you, they try to play games with you. They try to put you in a third party situation and it didn't work. So by that, I mean this person uh, didn't necessarily try and put you in a third party with another person but they wanted you to feel bad they wanted to play a mind game with you so they try and make you the third wheel in something so maybe they um, made it out like their work was more important or they made it out like for example you know other people were more important it didn't have to be another lover it could have been like a sister bl brother brother sister brother mother father <laughs> anyone in between you know something else like a hobby or their job or their uh, family of origin or other family children with another mother brother brother this is a word now. Okay. Ha. Ah, oh my God. Gemini. Okay. Let's see what happened here. Please angels. Tell me more. Yeah. This person had a sharp tongue. They, they wanted to make you feel insecure and it didn't work because bit, bit, no judgments here. All right. But like blue angel love tarot. This is all about self love. Like you would not let them because at least on the outside, you intuitively knew that you had to show that you are an egomaniac to rival this bit, bit All right. So we were like, no, like I love myself. F you. You know what I mean? Maybe on the inside you're crying, but on the outside you're like, you know what I mean? Like, I am the king queen, anyone in between. Good for you. And the chariot, you would not let this person stop you. I feel like this person tried to neg you in some way. They tried to tell you your job isn't good enough. You don't earn enough money. You're not good enough. You're not pretty handsome enough, whatever, tall enough, short enough, whatever it was. All right, curvy enough, flat enough. They try to nag you, put you in a third party situation in the sense of being a third wheel. They try to make you feel like you're just an option in their life. They can, um, they can get rid of you at any moment. And that didn't work. You were like, no, I'm the main character. B, 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 B. I can't say the swear words cause YouTube doesn't like, YouTube doesn't like it. But you know what I'm saying? Like you were like, no, I'm the main character. F you. And now I think your person still is hoping that you are still considering either messaging them or listening, uh, hearing them out if they come at you. 
<laughs> the world, all right, the world here. This person would like to uh, end a cycle and begin again. So, you know, this cycle of separation, it's time to end it in your person's eyes. This is something that could be going on for a long time. I think for some of you, this rift has been going on since September last year, 2021. So this video, you know, these videos are timeless, so take them as, as they resonate, okay? So for the timing that you can change that, uh, you know, however, whatever your story is, right? But if you're watching this in August 2022, this could have been a person that's been in a rift since September last year. What a douche flute. Um, you got the Empress here, though. You know, uh, going forward, this is the energy um, of reconciliation, healing. This person wants to fall at your feet. They understand that you're the Empress, Emperor, anyone in between. They want to worship you because your feet foot worship, you know. Um, I know why that came up. Maybe it's relevant. It's not, I'm not endorsing it. I'm just saying, like... Um, <clears throat> They're going to worship you, but they're going to start with your feet because that's how they feel. It could be a fetish. I don't know if you're into that. Uh, absolutely, totally fine. Um, but like, they're going to start with your feet because they know that that's their level right now. You know, like your feet is their highest level. So they're going to start with your, with your feet. They're going to worship up. <laughs> Why am I like this? Why am I like this, Gemini? Why are the messages always like this? Why can't it be, you know, I know, like, why can't it be one of those tarot channels where it's like, ah, oh, I see, I see, you know, I see angels telling you everything will be okay. The angels are pl playing harps in the, uh, in the, you know, in the heavens. There's, the angels are saying, no, the angels are freaking saying there's going to be foot worship. This is the level we're at here. All right. This is what we do. Ace, <laughs> Ace, Ace of uh, Cups is love. This person is definitely going to offer you love. They want to rekindle the relationship, the judgment here and the star. I mean, there's no doubts here. This person wants you back. They're going to fight for it. And they're, they're really going to fight for it this time because they know that they try to play mind games and they're sorry. I think, you know, I don't see anything super bad about this person apart from insecurity, especially if, if it was a bimbo himbo from tinder you know this person said something mean ghosted ran away from the connection because they felt like they couldn't win with you because they wanted to be you know the main character they wanted to be in control they couldn't um put you under their thumb so they were like okay fine like out of anger out of resentment bitterness or like fine you know uh, and they cut it off. And if it was a longer, longer term connection, it's the same dynamic, but boo. But this person is coming in to fix it here. Uh, the Empress is one of the best cards, in my opinion, to get for a reconciliation thing. It's, you know, this is more than just like lust or romantic love or feeling like you want to have a trophy, but boo. This is someone who really is going to do that worship. And it's not just, uh, not that, you know, fetishes are bad, but like it's not just going to be in that kind of a bedroom way. It's going to be more than that. Like this person really does believe that, you know, they belong at your feet, but boo. That is really gorgeous. That's actually quite cute. That's quite cute. Even though it's tr it's even though the messages are trashy sometimes, they're actually quite cute. But because that's quite cute. That's what they're gonna like. Imagine this baby prostrating themselves before your feet. Uh, in terms of timing, expect something to occur in the next three hours, three days, or three weeks. If not, boo boo, you may have to wait all the way until um, Aquarius season or Scorpio season. Actually, Scorpio or, or between Scorpio and Aquarius season, uh, going into next year, next calendar year. If it's an ongoing, you know, difficult rift, you know. It might take a while to repair it, but either a message will come or reconciliation for already talking, you know, someone is getting ready to come in, uh, in that energy of the sacred three, uh, dedicated to the goddess. Oh my God. Let me know in the comments below. Gemini, is this your person? Why are your feet so gorgeous? All right. This is escalating super quick right now. Let's maybe not talk about feet because we're going to get flagged, but, um, boop, boop. I love you, my darling. Thank you for uh, for bearing with me, spending your time with me, my darling Gemini. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story, uh, feed excluded. Uh, also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on that notification button, and of course, like the video, because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, my email address is down below, and information regarding that also. Um, also, finally, a uh, shout out to... Um, Everyone who's supporting the channel, I love you. I appreciate you, my babies. Specifically, I want to uh, I want to say thank you to Manuel today, who has been a darling friend of the channel uh, for a while. And I'm just like so I'm just so humbled by the love, Bibu. I'm so humbled by the love. I'm so humbled by all of you uh, uh, loving on the channel, even when you hate, uh, even those my two haters, whatever. Like, uh, I love you too, Bibu. Uh, I love the attention. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I I love you all. Uh, thank you. A uh, big thank. Thank you. Shout out to Manuel and I'll see you tomorrow, my darling Gemini. Stay sparkly, stay moisturized and stay amazing. May the angels protect you, boo boo.